Hey, Jay here. Should you ride with a mountain bike helmet? See how light this thing is? Incredibly light. And then I, I know the, this is going to create all kinds of controversy uh, with guys saying, oh, no, it's crazy, crazy. So to answer your question, I've been wearing one uh, a little bit. And I wear them in the summertime when it's really hot. And I wear them only when we're doing slow trails. First, second, maybe touching third gear stuff. Going slow, never on the motocross track, never on the more wide open desert stuff. And the, the reason I learned about this uh, is I, out in the mountains out here in Utah and in Idaho, I bumped into some guys that were, I seen some guys doing it. And then last year we rode in Hawaii and a, quite a few dudes had them. Almost everybody had them on because the speeds are so slow. It's hot and humid and you need the extra breathing capacity that the mountain bike helmet gives you. Now, so first of all, if a guy say, hey, Jay said for us to wear a mountain bike helmet and you crash and break your head, not my fault. I'm not saying to wear one. I'm just saying I do. And only when it's hot and it's tight trails. So is it more protection? No, it's definitely not gonna be more protection than your regular motorcycle, motocross helmet. Definitely not gonna be more protection, but it's lighter. And what I find, especially getting old, when you do five hour, six hour rides, you're neck is sore from holding your head up and taking a half pound off your head makes a big difference so this Choi Lee one's been cool as far as helmets go I've been really liking the new UFO one I've been wearing uh, a lot of that helmet in the motocross I've been really liking that helmet the Alpine Star has a new good one that's light as well and Fly has a new one that's, that's light those I like all those helmets they've all been good but on the trail, a mountain bike helmet doesn't compare because it's going to be so much drastically lighter. So I've kind of, I've weighed them all. I got little shots here. If you can see of all the different weights of these things and they range all within a half a pound of each other. And that makes a big difference on your head. And I, I wear a large helmet because I have a large head. And uh, so getting that extra weight off there is a big help. Um, so I could see guys back east, especially in the summer when it's hot and humid in really tight stuff. I could see this being a benefit. Um, it's not going to give you that extra protection of getting run over by somebody, that kind of thing, because it's a. These are made to take probably one big hit, on like for a downhill mountain bike guy. And they are going 40, 50 miles an hour, so they are going our kind of speeds and hitting the head. But it's probably not going to be nearly as strong impact-wise as your regular motocross helmet. So I caution you: if it's something you want to check into, uh, you, you need to do some research and figure it out. But uh, I've been doing it the last uh, a year and a half, and uh, but really haven't. You know, you can't really test it till you hit your head. So, you guys can report back to me what your thoughts are on uh, hitting your head with a mountain bike helmet on. So, uh, pretty cool deal, and a little trick I've learned from paying attention to other guys out on the trail. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you guys out at the track or trail soon.